Hey there saplings, this is Danny, an esoteric moment, and I am doing a little update video. I really wanted to take an opportunity to let you guys know what was happening in 2017 and how I look to go forward in 2018. So as many of you know, I've been doing my ovate studies through OBAD, the Order of Bards, Ovates, and Druids, and part of this ovate work really delve more deeper into the mystery elements of the order. And I am not good with mystery. I don't like mystery novels. I always read the end, like from chapter one before I read the rest of the book. I have a really hard time even like giving surprise gifts to people. If I like the gift, I have to like give clues because the suspense is just too much for me. I tell people online through my blog and these videos a lot of intimate details. I just don't hold a lot of mystery in my life. But this work through Ovate studies where I'm diving into journeying work more, I'm working on learning the Oum and really studying the mysteries of plants and those deeper healing elements of Druidry, I had to confront mystery and, and the the idea of keeping silent in a really head-on way, and that was not easy for me to do. I finally reached the point where I decided I needed to practice it and, and try keeping more of my personal stuff to myself. So this past year, I wasn't posting on my blog as much, I wasn't making videos, I kind of went cold turkey in some ways. This was aided by the fact that it was a really busy, mundane year for us, we got married in February, we bought a farm, it's a big fixer-upper, so we've been working a lot on house projects and fencing and livestock, just lots of things going on in that day-to-day -day life. And my personal druidry and my practice really blossomed and gained this flexibility about it that I haven't had before when I stopped giving so much of it out to the public or or even talking about it in the same way with friends or family. It was a valuable lesson for me, and I am now working on transitioning to finding the balance between continuing what I love, which is being creative on YouTube and sharing and connecting with people. That's really vital to my community and, and sense of participation in the conversation. But I also know that I can go deeper and I can explore more when I take time to be silent and and honor the mystery that I'm learning through the order and in my own world and place and space that my practice inhabits in my life. That means for 2018, I really hope to continue to do more regular videos, get back into doing every other week or every week, ideally, we'll see if that happens. But I'm also going to take time to really sit on what I talk about for the Druidry part. I'll still do book reviews and I'll still do conversations about Druidry and Paganism, both here on my channel and on the collab Pagan Perspective. But I'm, I'm going to be practicing that balancing act between private mystery and public conversation engagement. I'm also hoping that now that we're on the farm in 2018, I can do some more videos about permaculture and farm life for you and that ethos of earth care, people care, fair share really feeds into my druidry and my druidry feeds into that permaculture activism stuff. So I want to share more of that with you, especially as we get the garden going and more pastures fenced and all of that on the farm. So. In 2018, I hope you guys will subscribe and stick with me as we do book reviews, druidry conversations, and paganism conversations, and some more farm uh, permaculture videos too. If there are videos that you would like to see or conversations you want to have with me, there are a few ways you can do that. Definitely the comments of these videos, I try to respond as often as possible. And I love seeing everybody like talk to each other and have really interesting conversations here. Definitely check out my Instagram, which is Esoteric Moment. This is also the platform where you can message me 
in direct or private messages, I am much more likely to communicate with you there. I've had a few people ask me to be my friend on Facebook, but I keep that really to my personal interactions with people that I see on a regular basis in real life. So Facebook isn't the place to get a hold of me, but Instagram is a great place. I also have a P.O. box if you'd like to send me snail mail. Getting mail is one of my favorite things, and I would love to write letters back to you. So if you're into handwritten letters, send me a letter at Danny Lang, P.O. Box 271, Argyle, Wisconsin, 53504, and that's in the description. I'm really looking forward to hanging out with you guys in the coming year. Let me know what sort of things you're hoping to do in 2018. And as always, may you find peace in the sacred grove.